Alright, so now we're coming up to right where I would um you know it's funny when you would you would have, we would have to wear these silly uh, I, I call them costumes, really they were to work, you know, these red shirts and pants, whatever they did. If you didn't have your hat, they would give you a paper hat to wear. I mean really, I think the whole experience of working at McDonald's was really about um it was a big learning lesson for me. It was really a, it was a big learning lesson for me. And it was really, really, really crucial that um, it was very crucial that I had this experience um, because it really taught me some things that I don't think I would have ever learned otherwise. So let's see if we can go in here and get some. Uh... <laughs> right. So we cut. We coming on there. And this is right ready to work. So I don't know how much they can let us shoot in here, but this is where. I used to work here, you can tell there's some people over there. Where you been shot now, Isaac? Where you been shot now? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to get like said, this was my very first job. I was 14 years old when my mother woke me up out of bed and she said, you need to be doing something with your life. And that's exactly pretty much what she said. And um, I had to get a job. I, 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 who else would get a job? So this is where I got my first job, right here at this McDonald's. Before I went to Morehouse College, before I went to Harvard Law School, this is where it started. So this is a test. I'm a tester. You can be anything you want to be. And you can start at McDonald's, but you can do anything you want to be. So let's take a little trip around. You can see some people eating here. We're going to actually just walk right through. I see work right back here. I just see people all in the back here. How you doing? As you can see the clay pen back there. That's where I Interesting, interesting time. And then we would, uh, see this, right? Particularly as for, for the youth, right, that, that are watching. You heard this brother say, I really can't speak highly enough of Isaac, but you heard Isaac say, and I didn't even notice, his first job was at the Dairy Queen. So it just goes to show, Sam said his first job was at Old Navy. So it, it goes to show that really it's more similar than not that people's stories are started off at jobs like this. What would you say to youth that are in these situations, they don't know how they can accomplish their goals, their dreams, their aspirations, um, and they're living in places like this. Right, right. How do you go from A to seeing your dream to B? See, I mean, the, beauty, the beauty of life is that there are, uh, there are very few restrictions on which you can actually accomplish. Uh, so if you have a definitive goal, if you have something that you want to become, something that you want to do, it's very possible. Very, very possible. Hard work is important. Uh, dedication and determination are very important. And uh, surrounding yourself with people who are, uh, are, are unlike minded. You have to find a good circle. You have to have good friends around you. Find, find a group of friends who are, are positive thinking, who are about moving forward and progress. And you'd be amazed at the things that happen to you. So hard work, determination, dedication, remembering what it is that you want to become, what it is that you want to do, and surrounding yourself with people. Uh, that's, that's definitely what I want to leave you with. I'll just end with this, right? I mean, I want to thank y'all for coming on this tour and seeing, you saw my, you know, where I used to live, you see my first job. Um, but I would say this, right? This And this is from supposedly the smartest man to have ever lived, Albert Einstein. I love this quote. He said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Imagination is more important than knowledge. And I'm telling you, you do not have to be a product of your environment. Isaac's an example of that. Sam's an example of that. I believe I'm an example of that. You don't have to be a product of your environment. You can be a product of your imagination. And when you become a product of your imagination, you can make your environment a product of you.